Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I have no idea what compelled me to do that, but I have done it. Anyways, hi. It's another BBTS pile of loot unboxing. Why do I keep doing these? Because they keep getting stuff from BBTS, even though they won't sponsor me. Uh, but yeah, I keep getting tons of stuff. This one, this box has like $200 worth of toys in it. <laughs> but this has been like a true pile of loot. Like, I waited out the entire 90 days. And I add some stuff small, some stuff's not nothing really too big, but I think the most expensive things are like 37 bucks each. But we have a lot of hype in here. There is a lot of hype. And if you're very eagle-eyed, you might be seeing one thing that is very, very hype. Uh, I'm very excited to get into this. I had a very long, crappy day at work, so I can't wait to get into the toys. Uh, we have some... Weird stuff I've never gotten before. Uh, we've got a Transformer thing. I think we have one or two Star Wars things. Some robot -y goodness. Uh, typical BBTS fun. Uh, so let's get in. Let's see what we got. I think a couple things from McFarlane as well. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I got to get the hype out of the way. I have waited so long for the Jada Mega Man line. That's surprising. I thought it was face plates, but no, it's whole interchangeable heads. Okay, I just got Mega Man for now. I just want to check out Mega Man. Uh, there is also Iceman and Fireman. Uh, if I see those and I really like this Mega Man, I might... I'm worried I'm going to go like all in on this line. <laughs> I don't have the space or the money to go all in, but I know I'm going to get Cut Man. Uh, I always forget, is that Alec Man? I can never remember. I don't remember that one. And that's uh, Guts Man. Like... I don't know, I might end up with a lot of those. I'm not a huge Mega Man fan, but I grew up with it, and it's pretty nostalgic for me. And you know me, I love robots, and Mega Man's all about robots. So, very hyped for that. I'm going to open that as soon as I'm done with the video. Next up, you clone fanatics are probably already eyeing this. Yes, it's another Commander Cody thing. It was on sale on BBTS, okay? It was on sale. You know me, I don't like Funko. I don't like Funko Pops. But I do have the Funko Pop Commander Cody. And I like me some enamel pins from time to time. I've kind of been holding out to see if, like, Fig Pin would do a Commander Cody, just so I have an excuse to get a Fig Pin. But, honestly, this Commander Cody pin looks really nice. I love anything Commander Cody, you know me. I'm still currently in need. If anyone has the Funko Pop, like, they're not Funko Pops, but they're like the Funko blind bag keychains. There is a Revenge of the Sith style Commander Cody, like this, and then there is a Bad Batch Cody that they didn't like those keychains. Please, if you have them, I want them. <laughs> but that's really exciting. Let's get another Commander Cody. Uh, this right here, a little overdue. It's no longer Christmas time. I still go for the holiday clone troopers. And some may say, well, technically Purge troopers aren't clone troopers. Well, technically in the comics they are, but also like this is clone trooper armor, but it's painted like a nutcracker. And I don't know if you knew uh, this about me, but I love Nutcrackers. I think they are so cool. I love the look of Nutcrackers. And this just has so much Nutcracker, you know, energy. Kind of like Toy Soldier, Christmassy vibe. I love this. So happy to have this. This is the third clone they've done in the Holiday line. There was the Ginger Trooper, the Holiday Sweater, and now this one. So yeah, that's very hype. Uh, that's actually not the only holiday thing we have in here, uh, because we also have, ooh, something came off in the package. Uh, the Naughty or Nice collection, I got a couple of these. Wow, that's so weird, they changed the box style. So the first issue of the Naughty or Nice collection, the box style, it is so funny how weird and unoriginal these boxes are. So the first box style was like Marvel Legends, but this box style we can literally see side by side. Is like McFarlane, almost to a T. Like, this is the McFarlane box. My guess is that they make these in the same factory, and the factory's like, oh, let's just, you know, make a similar box. I did actually speak with um, one of the people behind the company at PowerCon a little while ago, uh, Fresh Monkey Fiction. I spoke with them, and I asked them about the box, but I don't remember what they said. <laughs> but I got Father Frost, because to me, Santa Claus is all about the white and blue. I love white and blue Santa. I'm going to open Father Frost uh, sooner rather than later because I just, I love the look. I love the head sculpt. That looks very nice. The translucent blue head I could live without, but it's a nice little bonus. These are the most expensive things in the box, by the way. But I just, as a toy collector, 
I couldn't. Oh, here we go. This is the Marvel Legends style box. So we still get one. So you can see that is so clearly a Marvel Legends box. And this is so clearly a McFarlane DC Multiverse box. Because this is a reissue of the first wave. As an action figure toy collector, I had to have an action figure of Santa Claus. I just had to. I needed to have a figure of Santa. And uh, this one looks amazing. It looks so good. The beard is no longer blonde. They actually made the beard white for this reissue. And I'm very happy I waited. It's got a naughty and nice list. It's just so cool. I'm going to wait to open this closer to Christmas time. I'm going to open Father Frost because it's still kind of winter, but this I'm going to wait towards Christmas time. I'm going to have a whole box full of like Christmas themed toys to bring out around Christmas time. So I'm very happy I have a Santa. Look at that. Though. That's so odd. That's so odd. Why? Why do they have so? Why are the packages so unoriginal? Anyways, <clears throat> we do have a few more things. <clears throat> if I can clear my throat, I did finally decide to get uh, the McFarlane Arkham City Joker. I've been kind of iffy on getting McFarlane Arkham stuff because I already have a lot of the DC collectibles ones. But I love the Joker. I love his portrayal in Arkham City. This figure just seems really nice. I have the Asylum one, but this one seems really nice too. Almost nicer. So I was like, yeah, man, I I got to get the Joker. I don't have Penguin, Ra's al Ghul, or Riddler from McFarlane Arkham City, but I do have Batman, Catwoman, and now Joker. I'm not going to get any other video game from McFarlane. I'm not really going to delve any more into Asylum, unless they do Victor Azaz, but I might just put him with my City stuff. Um, I won't do Night, won't do Origins, but City is my favorite. I think I might go back and get Ra's... Uh, Penguin and Riddler. I don't know yet. I'm not decided. A few more things. Just a few more things. Uh, this little guy. <clears throat> uh, they had Shrugging Sonic on sale. <laughs> I did not have Shrugging Sonic yet. So now I have Shrugging Sonic. Nice. <laughs> it was like three bucks. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, the box is huge too. I have no idea how big this is going to be. I'm going to do a video on this. Don't worry. This is This is in the wheelhouse of things I make videos about. It is a, I think it's from the same company I got that Thundercracker from, but it's an Optimus Prime. Why is the box so huge? Is this in runners? Or is it just like in backs? Or is it just that big? Where's my knife? Where's the knife? Where'd the knife go? I don't know. Where'd the knife go? I don't know. Boop, boop. I don't know. You have no idea where the knife went. Um, Can I just peel it? Where did the knife go? That's going to drive me crazy. I literally just had that box cutter. Where is it gone? Where's the box cutter? Where has it gone? Hmm? Hmm? Is it in my pockets? Hmm? Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Where's the box cutter, guys? Oh, I put it on top of stuff. I'm a moron. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's put my bright blue box cutter on top of a colorful box of toys. That's perfect. Anyways, <laughs> I'm keeping that in. That's too funny. Uh, yeah, it's in bags. No, it isn't runners. It is a model kit. This is like a full-on model kit. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Because the Thundercracker I got from, I think, the same company isn't like a big model kit like that. But this Optimus is. Look at how shiny that box is. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Obviously, Rise of the Beast Optimus. There are others in this line, but, you know me, I'm an Optimus fanboy. Figured I'd go with Prime. Anyways, a couple more things. Keeping on with the model kits. Finally got myself the Zawart Heavy from Witch for Mercury. I skipped on the normal Zawart because the Heavy just looks so much cooler. And if I only have one of this kit, I want it to be the Zawart Heavy. Uh, yeah, it just looks sweet. <laughs> it looks so cool. I am so far behind on building Gunpla. I mean, obviously you can see I've built many a Gunpla in my day, but... My closet right now, I think, has like 40 unbuilt kits, and I'm not even joking. So that will just go in my closet, and I'll build it whenever. Anyways, one last thing to end off the video. They had the McFarlane Gold Label uh, Avatar Spirit Ang on clearance for like 6 bucks, And I figured, hey, for 6 bucks, why not? I almost bought it for 10 a while ago. I think it was at an FYE for 10 bucks, and I almost got it. But I was like, no, I don't need it. But then I saw for six on BBTS. And I'm like, uh, for six bucks, man. It is slightly different than the one I already have. 
because I only have the second version Aang. And this is like angry Avatar Spirit Aang. I think it's pretty cool. And it is gold label too, so I appreciate that. I'm so mad McFarlane better make Katara and Toph in this 7-inch line. Because the McFarlane 7-inch Avatar line are the best action figures for Avatar The Last Airbender. And if they don't... Like, we've got... if I feel like an Avatar line at the very minimum, the bare minimum, needs Aang, Katara, Sokka, and Zuko. And we have Aang, Sokka, and Zuko, but not Katara. So, where's Katara? <laughs> that is the bare minimum of what an Avatar line needs. The bare minimum. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, that's all my stuff. That's what I got. $200 worth of toys. Uh, here, let's just... We got McFarlane. We got other McFarlane. Uh, so we got... We got Aang and we have uh, Fire Lord Ozai. We have uh, Blue Santa Claus. We have Red Santa Claus. We have Nutcracker T. Claus. We have Commander Cody. <laughs> we have probably the king of this unboxing for me, the Mega Man. That's going to get opened right away. Uh, probably the least exciting thing is Shrugging Sonic. But still, it was like three bucks. I don't care. And then the Zwart Heavy. And so there's, there's just like ten things, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, ten things. Oh my gosh. So, 10 things at $200 is like average $20 a thing, which eh, for some it's like, yeah, 20 bucks ain't that bad. But then others it's like, ugh, 20 bucks. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Um, another BBTS pile of loot unboxing has been said and done. Pretty much hit a lot of my little targets. I got a Batman thing, an av Avatar thing, a Gundam, a Transformer, a Sonic clones and, and a few random things like this is the core of what i collect now like this is the core <laughs> i don't really diverge much from almost anything you see here so yeah let me know what you think uh do you guys like using bbts pile of loot again not sponsored but it's a good service i like using it and anyways i'm gonna get off before i keep burping because i'm like trying to hold in my silent burps thank you guys so much for watching a special shout out to channel members as always Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.